case. No, I'm asking you your independent firsthand knowledge. You have none of that, right? You mean whether I was there? Yeah, you of weren't there. Of course not. Okay. You know that Ms. Hurd stopped seeing Dr. Jacobs in August 2014. That's correct. And she didn't go back until after she got sued, right? I believe that's the date. I'd have to look for, to make sure, but I believe that you're correct. Everything Ms. Hurd reported directly to you was after she was sued by Mr. Depp in this case, correct? Correct. And you have no personal knowledge of any abuse? Correct, personally. Correct. Right. And all you know is what Ms. Hurd self-reported to you and others? That's not correct. Because you did collateral interviews? And I reviewed medical records, and I reviewed other witness statements of what they witnessed and what they saw. And all of those statements that you reviewed, those were statements that started with Ms. Hurd, correct? Not necessarily. Well, the medical records did, didn't they? Well, the medical records, if she's self-reporting what happened to her, sure. I asked whether you can assess a relationship without talking to both parties. I believe you can. There are certainly limitations inherent in that, but you certainly can. You talked to Ms. Hurd for, what, approximately 30 hours, right? Correct. How long have you spent with Mr. Depp? I did not spend any time with Mr. Depp. It was my understanding that he did not sit for a psychological evaluation. Right. In fact, you never met Mr. Depp, have you? I have not. Right? Um, and you interviewed Dr. Bonnie Jacob. Correct. And you, you looked at her notes. Correct. And, and you know that Ms. Jacobs, Dr. Jacobs, uh, doesn't know anything about the version of what happened in Australia until Ms. Hurd had already been sued, correct? I believe she was not in treatment with Dr. Jacobs at the time the Australia incident occurred, so that would be correct. 